Hello from Heathrow. Uh, today I want to go a little bit deeper on the discussion we had about comfort zone. When is it wise and when is it good to be in a comfort zone at work? Um, it's Andy Kelly, Sundial Consulting, heading out to a very important client meeting with a senior client executive. And I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I've been stressed about this one. And um, it's at times like this when I realize and remember that a lot long time ago I worked out that I get my support, I get my strength and I get my confidence from my family. Right, I'm lucky enough to have a super supportive, insightful wife who tells me and reminds me why I'm doing this and what I do well and two lovely kids that I adore and we're a unit and we rally around each other as a family when anyone's feeling stressed in other parts of their life or at home. Um, a lot of people tell me I don't take my work home I don't talk about work when I get back home. My advice to you is you should, right? It helps, we're only human. And I would also tell you that even if you don't talk about your work when you get home, your family know, they see it. If they're emotionally intelligent, which a lot of people are, they will see. They know when you had that great meeting with your boss, they know when you lost that deal, they know when you won that deal, they know when you got that new customer. Um, so you may as well share. So then just flip it on its head. So I go to the comfort of my home when I'm stressed at work. What do you do um, at work when you've got troubles at home? That's when it's a good time to think about a comfort zone at work. You know, Often people have ego or pride. Us Brits call it the stiff upper lip and we feel that we can just soldier on. Whatever's going on at home or in our outside world, we can soldier on and we can cope. Well, you're wrong, we can't. Um, in the coding world, they call it error in line one. <laughs> it's hard, you know, at the end of the day, we're only human and we're built up of chemicals and hormones and neuro neurotransmitters and they take control of us, okay? So you have to think really seriously about this. Um, it's good if you can find support at work. It's good if you can find a comfort zone. Um, I was chatting to a new acquaintance yesterday someone who I can see very quickly becoming a new friend, also a client, um, and he's very successful. And he was telling me he's, he's one year into his new job and it's going well. Um, he's having a tough quarter, however, and there's been a hell of a lot of change in almost everything around him at work. Uh, yeah, he wanted to talk to me about his career path. He wanted to talk to me about his ambition. He wanted to talk to me about some of the political maneuvers that were happening in his company and how he copes with those and how he keeps his career on track um, and keeps it going with a pace and urgency. And I just said to him, aren't you going through a really tough divorce? He's like, yeah. I'm like, aren't you about to move house? Yeah. Aren't you about to reclimatize your children to this new way of living? And he's like, yeah. And I said, look, it's okay to just slow down a little bit with the career. It's okay to slow down a little bit with the ambition and just turn the handle, right? Get the quarter finished, just do your day job, you're really good at it, you love your job, enjoy that while you're solving some of these problems at home. Um, and then you can get on, back on track. Chat to your boss, get some support at work so people understand that you won't be your quite normal self. You're not Buzz Lightyear, right? Um, we're only human. So it's really important when you've got stuff going on outside, at home, that's stressing you out to just find that place of comfort at work. And, it, and it's fine. You can ask for help. You're not a failure. It's okay. We all go through it. You know, I've worked with thousands of people and what I realise is they're all having their own fight, right? They're all having their own stresses um, and sometimes they're worse than others. I have a friend and it was about four years ago when um, he found out, and he was also a customer, he found out in the same week that he'd lost his job and it was a shock and that his wife didn't love him and was going to leave with the kids. I mean, just imagine that. I mean, I can't imagine that actually. And um, boom, it absolutely swept him away. And it took him two years to come back from that. So he was at his lowest point at home, he was at lowest point at work at the same time. And that's what it does. Um, it took him a couple of years to come back to the guy I know. 
And what he did was really smart. He was a very senior guy, senior executive, and he took a decision to go into an IC role in a job that he would really enjoy and be passionate about, and that he could just really probably deliver with his eyes closed while he built back his confidence and built back his life. Really, really clever move. You know, the people that don't do that are the ones that start to really struggle. So, there you go. Um, you're okay to go in a comfort zone, although I spend most of my time trying to encourage and inspire people out of comfort, as do the rest of my team. Um, there, there are times when it's good to be there. So have a think about that, and if you're a leader, have a think about your people, and make sure you're aware of some of the things they're going through, and the kind of support and coaching they, meet from, they may need from you. So thanks again for listening. It's Andy Kelly, Sundial Consulting. Have a great day. Goodbye.